morning I found you joining us on a bit of a stressful morning <laughs> so basically there's been a vlog skip a day by the time I'm filming this because this morning we woke up after seeing the northern lights arriving at that really cute campsite last night no you won't have even seen that no this is the day before isn't it <laughs> see I'm, I, I, this is what happens you get confused okay so yesterday basically what's happened is we've lost a whole bit we've lost yesterday's vlog footage because Chris has lost the memory card long story short we spent about two hours this morning we had the whole van out literally everything in the van out and then we spent about an hour sift sifting through snow we can't find it it's the micro part of the memory card so <laughs> We're gonna get the van, again, van out again a little bit later on, but just in case the footage is gone and lost, then I'm gonna do a bit of a narration of what you've missed. Because we've got all the footage. Yeah, we do have footage from phones, drones, um, GoPro. We just don't have the chatty footage from the actual vlog camera, which is what I'm using right now. So I'm gonna narrate the day. <laughs> I'm gonna narrate what's happened yesterday so that you guys can still see that the footage that we've got and we can still use the footage that we've got just because we want to be able to look back, back on these vlogs as well right and, and have all the memories and even the stressful ones like and we filmed such a good vlog yesterday so yesterday morning we woke up in the absolutely beautiful town in northern sweden called Sorsel. i always get, get it pronounce it feel like i'm pronouncing it wrong because it sounds different when Swedish people pronounce it, but it's basically called Sorsel. It's the most beautiful town ever. Like we had such a good few days there and it was just perfect. We spent a couple of nights at the beautiful ski resort that we filmed in the vlog a couple of days ago. And we just, oh my gosh, it was just perfect. It was like my dreams coming true. I couldn't, I couldn't believe I was living it. It was so pretty. And we, when, we, when we woke up yesterday morning there, it was just so quiet and peaceful and it was just absolutely stunning and then we also did a snow safari which you guys have also seen don't know why i'm bringing that up right now i'm <laughs> just bringing up what we did in the town and if anybody's ever got the opportunity or the chance to go to Sorcel, if they're on like a trip similar to us then i would 100 percent recommend it it's such a beautiful place the people are so lovely and we had the best few days there after having a really nice peaceful morning and soaking up all the beauty that was around us we got on the road because we did have about a three-ish hour drive in hopes of reaching the arctic circle we were very 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 excited the arctic circle has a stop point kind of like an information center about 10 kilometers from the town we were heading to Yokmok. Um, so we got on the road and it was the most beautiful drive ever. wild reindeer right in the middle of the road yeah Chris was like I was like break 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 because this this thing was what you'd expect a moose to act like it was just like it's chilling in the road oh my gosh oh my gosh I was like stop stop reindeer that was so cute it was so cool but um, so we saw that reindeer and then within about 20 minutes of seeing that reindeer we saw about 20 more reindeer which was so amazing and we had to keep stopping the van didn't we because the girls all wanted to get out and Jace wanted to get out so we had to keep stopping the van so that they could get out of their seats and take video and footage and things so we saw a group of about eight reindeer in the woods and then we saw about 
I don't know exactly how many, five or six on a frozen lake a little bit later, about 10 minutes more down the road. We were going over a big bridge and Esme was like, reindeer, reindeer. So we checked no one was around. These roads are like dead though, aren't they? There's like no one on the roads. And we were able to stop and just, we didn't actually film that, but we that did see. Huh? Yeah, there yeah, the clips I think are on the main camera, so. Uh, there's no footage of them on the lake, but it was really, really awesome to be able to see that in real life. Eventually, after probably two and a half, three hours, we reached the northern point in Sweden, where we reached the Arctic Circle, where we crossed over basically into the Arctic Circle. And it was such a special moment, and I'm really, really blooming sad that we don't have the vlog footage from we it. Were building up all day long. I know. It was the goal of the trip. Yeah. Our goals have changed. I'll talk about that later. But it was the goal of the trip, and, and it was really exciting getting out of the van and being like, "Yay, we've reached it!" And all of that footage was on the memory yeah, card that's was lost. The Arctic Circle, and non -Arctic Circle. And yeah, Chris was like, "I'm in the Arctic Circle, guys," and then he's like, "No, I'm not." And the girls were like, "No, Dad, that's not cool." He was stepping behind the barrier type thing. Um, anyway, so after doing all that and taking a few pictures and things, we jumped back into the van. Um, and we headed about 10 kilometers, 10 more kilometers, and we reached the little town of Yokmok, which is the first, like, I guess major, which is the first town actually in the Arctic Circle if you're traveling up the way we were. Uh, we decided that we were going to celebrate our goal being reached and go out for dinner, and we found a little restaurant. What was it called? Opal or something? Opera, that's the one. We reached a little, we headed to a little restaurant called Opera, which was so beautiful, peaceful, quiet. Now the food was out. Oh my out. gosh, the food oh. was the nicest food. I think, I, I, I was about to say on this trip, but actually ever. I've was, never had food like that. It was that. amazing, it was so out as well. It was so delicious. So we ordered some pasta dishes. I ordered Jason Miller a carbonara. All three girls got like a chicken, garlic, mushroom, pasta dish. I ordered a Swedish pizza. Pizza, pizza. Chris ordered a Jokmok pizza, which was like the town's special. I ordered a calzone pizza. We were going to try, <laughs> we were going to try like one of the typical Swedish dish dishes. And when we asked the guy like, what's like, like, like what's the special? What's like a, a main dish here? He was going through all the ingredients and we were like, okay, okay. And then he was like, and then very good wild reindeer. And I was like, oh, I think, we'll, I think we'll stick with pasta. I don't know why, I just, I can't, I can't eat Rudolph. No offense to anybody here. I know a lot, it's like a good dish here. It's like what, maybe it's like what we'd have as chicken. Like it's like a popular dish yeah. here. Um, and we had a discussion actually around the table and I vlogged about how, it's funny when you get, when you're brought up accepting eating certain animals. But then when you travel to a new destination and they eat different types of animals, you become horrified. <laughs> You're like, no, no it's way. Like Spain and we were offered zebra. Yeah, it's like in Spain when we were offered to eat zebra and we were like, I'm not eating a zebra. That's how I felt here about eating a reindeer. Um, but funnily enough, I'll eat beef burgers. So, and that's cow, and it's, it's no different. But anyway, we ordered way too much food. There was way too much. I pretty much left all of my calzo, didn't I? <laughs> Pretty much all of it. Because Mila and Jace's carbonara was so good that they ate as much as they could and there was about half a bowl left. The portions were ginormous, the portions were massive. And I just ate their half a bowl of carbonara and then I was too full to eat my own meal. It was so good though. Um, but we were definitely defeated with food. We probably should have ordered like four dishes. Three or four between us all. But it was good, it was delicious, we had some really nice side salads, we had some nice drinks and things, it was really, really, really nice. Oh, don't give me a side on the salad bar, that was the best Yeah, there was a salad bar, oh, it was so good, it was the nicest salad as well, I'm not sure what the dressing was that they had on, but oh, that's why I was so full as well, I ate a massive bowl of salad before my even eating my meal. Uh, yeah, it was so lovely, it was, just, it was a really, really, really lovely evening. So after a bit of a disaster with poor Jace on the way out, um, he tripped over his own foot. I don't know how he did it. I was to be fair, I wasn't watching him. I don't watch him walk. I don't watch his every move. But he was just walking out when he tripped kind of over his own foot and hit his face on the corner of a wooden table that was in there. 
and luckily it wasn't serious but he has got like a cut he hit it on the corner of the table so he's got a bit of a cut here but he's not cheap like a, not like a split like no a no no you know how paranoid chris is about things like that it's like do we need to go to hospital it was panicking really bad but thankfully it was just a graze it wasn't even actively bleeding it was just like when you press tissue on it um but last night he was saying that it hurt on the inside of his mouth so we checked the inside of his mouth and there's no cut in there, but it did look a little bit red. So I think he's just, um, yeah. Anyway, um, so he did that, <laughs> which was a bit like, oh my gosh. And then we checked into the most beautiful, cute campsite. It was only four, was it four minutes from the restaurant? Yeah. It was like four minutes from the restaurant. It's the most beautiful little campsite ever. It was so magic guys it was just like magic yeah it was just magic okay. it, I, I actually uploaded an instagram post because i was like it's, it, it literally feels like it's february it feels like christmas eve for me right now it was pure magic absolutely beautiful and the best thing about it was that the, the sky was completely clear i can't remember what what footage we filmed on when we were outside with esme it might have been my phone but Esme commented, if, if not, that it felt like we were in a globe. It felt like we were in a snow globe because you could actually see the curvature of the sky because there was nothing around. Whoa, look over there, babe. Wow. That's so pretty. Look at that. Mad. Look at this. this is so look how pretty that is. Hey guys, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh my gosh, that just looks magic, doesn't it? But yeah, it was just really, really, re these, these um, zebra crossings freak me out. Not zebra crossings, train tracks. What's it called? Level crossing. The level crossings freak me out because it's, anyway, um, it was beautiful. The stars were incredible. There was billions, trillions. You could see trillions with your eye. And I know there's trillions of stars anyway, but you could see them with your eye, like properly see them all. And it was just, oh, everywhere you looked, it was like, What's it called? A 360 view. It was just the most beautiful. It was minus 11, but you didn't care. It was... Yeah, it was minus 11 last night, but you didn't, I was, I didn't even have a coat on. I was still outside, like I can't believe what I'm seeing. It was so beautiful. So me and the girls and Jace were in the van and we got out, we were making all the beds up, getting ourselves ready for the evening, brushing our teeth. Chris went and got a shower at the shower block. And on his walk back from the shower, you know what I'm about to say. You know it. The sky was blooming green, the aurora was out, and oh, it was so cool. So we were all like ready in our pajamas, vests and things, because all we wear is a vest. I only wear a vest with bed because it so, gets so hot in the van. Uh, so then we're all trying to get our clothes back on <laughs> so that we could go outside. Oh, guys, it's here now. Get yeah, he's like, come on, it's here now. As though it was just about to disappear. But then we all got out of the van, we stood on the roof. Look at that. So pretty. Stood on the roof of the van. Oh, it was so cool. Chris got some amazing shots. Yeah, I'm really gutted that we lost some of the footage, but thankfully some of it we've been able to include in this little roundup of the day. So we got off this morning. We, it was a. It was such a lucky day. It was. I know. We were. The Aurora, and we. And we crossed the Atlantic. It was just such a lucky day. It was such a magical day. Yeah. I'm really gutted. Obviously, we can't share a lot of the footage with you guys, but I'm more so gutted because it's just a really magical day for us as well. That I wanted to um look at that lake. <gasps> oh my gosh. We woke up this morning and we had decided that we weren't going to vlog so much today just because we're driving on to the next town, which is meant to be incredible. You guys have to wait until tomorrow to see that. We're hopefully gonna arrive today. We're about two hours away. And um, what else have we done this morning? We had quite a slow morning. Me and the girls went and got really long, luxurious showers, which was so nice. And then we uh, spent two, and a, two hours, probably longer, looking for the memory card. Couldn't find it. We, we had to stop and do a few emails, make a few phone calls, which is also what we did today. Went to the petrol station, we got Starbucks. Starbucks. Oh my gosh, couldn't believe there were Starbucks. We got us all Starbucks and hot cinnamon buns, which were absolutely delicious. And now we're on the road on again. Our on our way to basically Santa Village, in pretty the much. In the northern, well, in, right in the northern part of Swedish Lapland. So, yeah. 
uh, right in the north of Swedish Lapland, basically. It's basically Santa Village. We'll film it when we get there in a, in a little bit. But um, going to? Karuna. That's where we're heading to. Karuna. Um, and we'll speak to you a little bit more when we get there because I've been chatting now for like 10 minutes, which is probably really annoying your ears. But we'll speak to you a little bit more when we get there about our goals because our goal was to reach the Arctic Circle. But we've enjoyed it. When we come on these van trips, the thing that I love about them is that there's no limit, there's no length. If we're feeling a bit fed up, if we're feeling a bit bored, if we're feeling a bit homesick, if any of us get sick, we turn around and go home at any point we want. There's never a pressure to stay on a van trip if anybody in the family is feeling homesick or they want to go home. There's never a pressure. And I didn't know if we'd reach the Arctic Circle because it seemed like a lifetime away. Um, so it's just, it, and it is so far, it's probably, it feels like the longest we've ever driven, especially in such a short amount of time. Uh, so I didn't know if we'd reached the Arctic Circle, but we've had such a good time getting to it that nobody wants to stop. Everyone's like, where are we going to next? So we've made a new goal, haven't we? I don't know if we'll make, make the new goal because it is still far, far, far. But um, we'll see, I'll talk to you a little bit more about that when we get to the new, vi new town we're going to. place ever all the houses are like colorful little barns <laughs> it's so adorable but right now I need a supermarket for some bread so that's where i'm going definitely going to grab some of these these are the girls absolute favorite I like little cinnamon rolls they taste so good also picked up a loaf of this delicious bread oh my gosh this is absolutely divine this is one of the like um, Scandinavian type breads and the, oh my goodness when they're warmed up it tastes so good it is about three pound three pound sixty ish for a loaf so not the cheapest but um, Scandinavia in general is quite an expensive place I have found meat and things quite expensive so for example these chicken strips here are like 80 um, sec, S E K, um, which I think is about £6.50. £6.50 for some chicken strips. What else is there? Let's have a look at other meats. £159. Swedish grown. Oh my goodness, what's that? About £13, something like that. And what even is that? Pork. It's like pork. Um, chicken, is that chicken there? It's like some chicken breast. 200. 200. Swedish crown. So, very expensive. I just worked out that's like £16. <gasps> 16 pound Is that right? £16 for a bit of chicken breast. What's this one? And that's, that looks like chicken as well. It looks like marinated chicken. Also, I found salmon to be well expensive. Is that just salmon? Because that is not a big piece of salmon. Like, super flat, super thin. Not even as big as my hand. 400. Like, is that right? 300. No, 400, sorry. Which is like, how much is that? It's like 30, 32 pound, 32 pound? Yeah, about 32 pound. 
like what on earth same with that one um yeah so some things are massively expensive like the fish very very i mean what would you pay for that at home fiver maybe definitely not 32 pound grabbed a few packs of swedish meatballs we're not gonna have these tonight because we've already got dinner sorted for tonight but um yeah i might do meatballs and pasta one night also i love that um all scandinavia have these recycling pots i think you get money out from them so you basically just put your bottle in you can even wash them they're really really cool and then you get money out very good incentive also for anyone that doesn't know they're very big on like crispy crispy bread here it's like one of the main breakfasts and lunches that they eat and we haven't tried any yet but i just noticed these that look really cute little sandwich high fiber bars i might get a few of these for us all to try so there's this chives one i might get a sour cream one on the end might as well get tomato and basil as well also noticed that literally all of the shops here like co-op there's loads of different named ones. They all sell underwear. <laughs> Not just underwear, but like, you know, random things. Like this. Uh, even though they're quite small stores. Look at the prices of them. Like eight pound for a pair of boxes. I think I'll pass. fashion forward a few hours and we have arrived just on the outskirts of the beautiful town of Kiruna city. It is the only city in the northern part of, of Sweden in Lapland. It's got about 20,000 people that live here so it's not a massive in, in terms of cities but it's big enough. But tonight is going to be a special night and even more so since arriving here at this particular space where we're spending the night do I believe that? So basically, we had a look online for like the best place to see the Northern Lights tonight in Karuna because tonight the Aurora is very high on the energy levels and um, it's a very clear night. So we're gonna see it tonight for definite. Well, almost for definite. So we looked up where the best place to see it is and all the campsites are unfortunately closed. The one that is open uh, has like some reviews of having bad light pollution from the city. So we, we scrapped that one off altogether. And we've actually come to a park for night spot, which is basically a huge, um, it's a huge car park at the information center for Karuna, which is actually 17 miles outside of Karuna. So we're back in the wilderness right now, we're back in the forest. It's completely pitch black, but the second we pulled in, the whole car park is full of other van lifers, literally full of people having fires. I don't know if you can see over there. But more than that, there is literally at least 40 people stood outside in this car park right now with tripods and cameras because they all are here to watch the Aurora tonight because apparently tonight is meant to be mega. We are three hours further north than we were last night. So we're, we're very, very north in Sweden right now. We're very close to the very northern part of Sweden. It's extremely cold. It feels it anyway. I'm gonna check on the on the um, temperature gauge what it actually is. But we are hopefully gonna see a show tonight. Very excited about that. It's only 6 p.m. We're gonna make some food and then we're gonna hopefully come out and see what's what afterwards. We've got a fire pit ready. We're gonna have a fire. We've got some wood from a back stash and I've got my axe ready to chop up some wood as well, make it a bit smaller. You know, I feel like a proper, you know, woodsman and all. <laughs> I've wanted to use my axe since I bought it on, the, on some wood for the fire, so I'm definitely gonna do that tonight. Uh, very excited. Indeed. I don't know if you can hear, but there is so many people here with tripods and cameras set up, so really hoping for a good show tonight. Oh my goodness, it's so nice out here, isn't it? It's so cool. So the sky is active. It is. There is some low fog, which has just come over, so there's nothing to see right now. Izzy's just gone inside for a warm-up, and the little two are also inside. Me and Chris keep taking in turns when the lights are out, so that Isabel can be out here and see it as well. But, um, yeah, the fog's just come over. You can still see it slightly through the fog, though. It's still lit up. Like it's, the fog's yeah, really bright. It's really active tonight, but yeah. we just need the fog to go. But it's still early. So. Yeah, it's still early. Also, Isla's been learning all about, um, like, what have you been learning, Isla? Uh, like, what? Like the noises the northern, northern lights make. Yeah, um, why they have. It can, be, it can be like violet, green, yellow, purple, and red. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, um, if really rare to get blue, I think it's like the rarest one. Yeah. And same with violets. We've yeah. had red and green tonight, haven't we? Yeah, we've had red and green. Yeah, we have. Cool. We've been learning like why 
they happen. Dad, the best the place. <laughs> the best oh, place. Really, it's so cold over <laughs> the best place to see them. The best times of year to see them. The best times to see them. Yeah, the She's been learning times. why they happen and what yeah. the sun has to do it's for it to happen. Warrior. Blah blah blah. So it's really cool. The point is, is it's really cool to be able to see them and know. Yeah, it's good as the time. Why they're happening? Like, just like today, I'm learning all about them, and now it's happening outside. No, it's happening. Yeah. It's really cool. It is. It's really nice. It's so <laughs> cozy out here. We've got a nice sky time lapse going on on the road. Roof. Oh, have you? Man, You've got yeah. a time lapse going on. Hopefully, it picks something up. There was a coach full of like a tour here before. They all seem to have gone. I should probably put my coat on because I currently just <laughs> don't even have a coat on. Chris is being silly. Um, there is another camper van in the car park. Or what is this? What, this is like a what is this? Is it a car park? Can't see because of the snow. Oh. It's, oh, we learned such good facts about this town that we're in today, didn't we? We'll tell you about all of them about them tomorrow. But um, it's super cool. But yeah, we're in the tourist centre information park right now. And there is coachful. Like, you can see the lights down there. There keeps being coachfuls of people turning up. I guess this is an amazing spot to see the lights. And because there's no light pollution, they're really, really bright. I think the clouds are disappearing because... Of <laughs> I think the clouds are disappearing because they do seem to be coming out again. I'll insert some pictures that I just took now. She keeps coming and going. We've got cloud. Well, it's not actually cloud, it's fog. We've got lots of stars out over here, you won't be able to see, but then we've got lots of fog. Like it's rolling in and covering up, and then as soon as the fog goes, she comes out. But right now, there's not much going on. in the van after such a wonderful night. Oh, it got nippy out there though, didn't it? Oh, it's minus 10.5 now. So it got nippy. The, the old toes were on fire for me. Um, we didn't take Mila out because it was really, really cold. But Jace went out for a while and he absolutely loved it. He made oh, a little... so cute. You have seen the aurora. It was. so cute. It was a really, really lovely evening. It's been a bit of a jumbled vlog today just because we lost the memory card. I just still haven't found it. Are you even going to get the rest of the van out? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> no, I'm not in this temperature. Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just making some hot juice now. Cups of tea and hot juice. Oh, that, the hot juice here card, is so good. Lost tapes, memory card, video, like, yeah. In a bit. I, I feel like when you come to like Scandinavia, hot juice is just the thing to have. Pass me that bottle, please. This is what juice we've been drinking. It's all gone actually to get some more. But this is the juice we've been drinking and it's so delicious. So unbelievably delicious. I don't have a cup of tea on a night now. Have that instead. <laughs> it's so good. So we're going to chill out now with some Netflix. Me and Chris are currently watching. What are we watching? You. you? It's <sighs> lots of people rave about you. I'll watch it. I'm not obsessed with it. The narration kind of grinds on me a little bit, but it's okay. I, it's not my favourite. Like but night, <laughs> I, like, I like zoning out to it basically. So it doesn't like. I don't get mega excited about it. But um, yeah, we're watching that. I think we're on like episode four now. So we're going to do that. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to come back tomorrow. Is going to be a really fun day. Are we heading to that road tomorrow? Uh, no, we're going to be doing a couple of things around here. A couple things around here, I thought so, yeah. There's a couple of things we want to do here. I found out something so cool about this town, but I, I, I have to say. So, I'm going to give more information on it tomorrow because I don't want to end the vlog with lo loads of bo what some people might find boring facts, but it, it has the biggest iron mining facility in the world here. In the whole world. Everyone's turned off. <laughs> no, they haven't turned off. Iron mining. Yeah, Iron mining. Yeah. Yes, but listen, guys. No, so they're having to, the they're having to relocate. They're having to relocate the whole. Okay, she's redeeming herself. Sorry, they're having no. to relocate the town to around two miles the away. The city. The city. Sorry, they're having to. Re and this is a massive place. In fact, this is the biggest city 
in Lapland, right? Yeah. Swedish Lapland. Uh -huh. It's the biggest one. It's huge. And they're having to relocate it two miles away because the ground is sinking. What? Due mining. to the mining, yeah. yeah. Due to the mining, because so much mining and it's it's causing the the whole ground to sink. But they're actually picking up the buildings and <laughs> moving the actual buildings. They're picking them up. They're and picking them. buildings up in their entirety and moving them two miles away. Hilarious. I think it's something Crazy. like fifteen of the most important buildings or something like that. I couldn't believe the fact when I was reading them today. I was like, what? That's absolutely crazy. It's so cool. I know this place does do tours of the mine. I'm not sure if it's like in season, if it's full, if it's even possible for us to do, but I guess we'll speak more about that tomorrow. But yeah, I just thought that was so interesting and so cool. It's the biggest one in the whole world. No one's coming back tomorrow because I think we're going to go get a tour of a mine. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, that'd be cool. No, yeah, I think it'd be cool as well, but, I've, I've, but you know. Watching someone you know do that, people maybe are like, not. Like, oh, yeah, well, well, we're, we're, we're not touring the mine tomorrow. No, we're not. We might. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this vlog, even though it's been a bit of a ruffled probably not a great one but um yeah i hope you all enjoyed it anyway give it a big thumbs up if you did and we'll see you back here tomorrow for some mining fun no we won't <laughs> at 5 p.m good night guys mm.